In one sense, you have a lot of people who are trying to be um, other people, or they're trying to go to, they're trying to do what other people do, similar to like when David did um, was trying. Well, not that David was trying to be like Saul, but Saul was trying to get David to do things in Saul's way. And the challenge with that is, like, you don't even realize like why somebody's doing what they're doing. Somebody who you might be trying to mimic or be like, they they're because of where they are now there's some things that they're doing that works because of the level that they're at that you might try to do at your level which could actually work against you you know what i'm saying so sometimes that's why you got to be careful of that it's good to say and and then so that's in one sense in mimicking other people which is fine you still you should have people that you might want to model yourself after but not um but don't expect to just copy exactly what they do they're doing what they're doing because they're in a particular context they're in a particular setting um whether that be a, a particular setting and context of time a particular t uh, concept of place a particular setting in terms of their network etc right their financial like so you got to pay attention to those nuances and then the other thing is that you all you also have to remember that people that wherever you are at is fine you're supposed to learn you're supposed to even make some mistakes at this level because that's exactly what's going to help you to fine tune and get to the next level right so if you're talking about your speaking it's fine that you're going to go out there this is the level where you want to speak you want to actually make some of your mistakes because now you'll be expecting the mistakes at the you know that you might make at the next level and this is the thing when you make mistakes at this level you know at an earlier level there's not a lot at stake so, you know what I'm saying? There's not much to lose. Whereas when you make a mistake on a higher level, there's a whole lot more to lose now. But this is the thing that you learn. As you get better at your craft, you start realizing that it's very easy to, to it, or it's easier than you think to turn what looks like a mistake or what should have been a mistake into actually something very powerful and even better, right? So it's not like because I speak on a more consistent basis now that I don't make mistakes. Yo, I make mistakes, you know what I'm saying, all the time. I might get tripped up over a word or I might lose my thought for a second. But I'm so comfortable in who I am now that I can actually use what looked like a mistake or what was a mistake to my advantage. I'm comfortable enough in the information that I'm giving where I can even be honest and say, oh, look, the idea slipped my head, but it's going to come back to me. Let's move on to the next piece, right? And it still be powerful and nobody's really focusing on the mistake because we tend to focus more on our mistakes than the people who are actually listening to us right so don't so you gonna make mistakes or what have you don't worry so much about the mistakes be excited about the fact that you're going to be learning during the process and you're going to learn from that mistake and be get even better right so remember we're thinking long term so you might just be speaking for two or three years but you're going to make some mistakes but we're th thinking long term that mistake is going to make you better five years from now, 10 years down the line, et cetera, et cetera.